innovation is really key in agriculture and especially in our business. Um, as a manager, I'm always looking for ways to uh, make in form decisions with the information and the resources that we have available to us um, that will allow us to farm in increasingly sustainable ways. And that to me is innovation. The wide range of management tools that have become available for us. Um, even in the last five years, I've noticed the way that, um, you know, we have tools now to, um, and software actually, to manage our inventories, you know, our data, our, our inputs. And it really just helps within the transparency of the business and to have those tools available, it, it ultimately makes us more efficient on our farm and, and helps us manage our business better. So it's, it's been a pretty neat thing that's happened through that. The inputs into our farm are really anything that is going to be put into our fields to help grow a, a crop. So that could be the seed, it could be the, the fertilizers, um, it could be the water that's put out there, things like that. The role that innovation um, plays on my farm is, first of all, seed varieties have changed so much over the last 20 years and the technology is so much so much better because we're able to control weeds a lot better and also the, uh, I guess, the onset of GMO canola, it, uh, it, it really was a game changer for us because we're able to um, direct seed, so we go in and direct seed into stubble and before we used to have to work the soil, we tilled the soil, which we now know can cause all sorts of problems. There's erosion, there's also the release of carbon, all these things. So for us to continue ca capturing carbon in the soil, um, GMO canola is such a, a large tool because it helps us control weeds without the use of tillage. Also the variable rate um, that we use now with fertilizer application and seed is, uh, has been probably a game changer as well, similar to what GMO canola was. Because what it does is it helps us to put products where they're needed. We don't over apply in places that we know we can't produce and uh, also putting seed down at the proper rate in certain areas just over time it's it's advanced so much that our uh, I guess our knowledge of, of how to grow a good crop and once again it's doing more with less. We're using less fertilizer we're only putting it where we need it we're not over applying and, and it, that can cause issues and like I say VR VR seed and fertilizer is a big one that I've taken on on my farm and uh, I have already seen the results of it where I have more even crops, so even maturity, um, along with the fact that I'm only putting product where it's needed. By far one of the biggest advancements in the last 25 years has been GPS, so that's helping us um, apply our crops more efficiently so it gives us a line to follow in the field or it auto steers our equipment and it does such a great job of following that we have very little overlap. We also have uh, more time to maybe relax in a tractor or a combine so it's not uh, the the stress of having to steer straight or whatever it is and the fact that sometimes you just overlap and all that costs us money right so you're either over applying an, an input or missing you get gaps our gps technology is just becoming more accurate than ever before our sectional control shut off so you know we don't overlap with our seating or when it comes to spraying is really a big one as well um, and you know in terms of our irrigation that we're running we have um, like a it's a low pressure system so we're you know really managing our water and using it in a, an efficient way and technology has allowed us to do so many tremendous things a really neat piece of technology which is coming into play with our equipment in terms of seeding in terms of when we do need to go out and have spray applications done in the field is there will be you know different pieces of your equipment of your drill and if you need to overlap and you make a turn, you know, what would happen before is sometimes we would end up actually double seeding an area. And when you double seed an area, you create lodging. And so at the end of the season, you go in with your combine and you have, you just grow a lot more straw and you have the crop flop all over the place. And I guess ultimately it's not the most efficient use of your resources. So sectional control is really neat because it will come through and it will, determine where you've already gone so you don't double seed or you don't double spray.